Up first, more details of the allegations against Union Minister Daya Nidhi Maran. NDTV has learned that in his statement recorded on Monday, ASL founder C. Siva Shankaran has said the former telecom minister threatened him into selling ASL to the Maxis Group. The CBI is probing whether Maran allegedly favoured Maxis Group, whose sister, a group invested 800 crores in Sun TV. Remember, that's of course owned by Daya Nidhi's brother, Kalanidhi. Sunita Chaudhary is now joining us for more on this. Uh, Sunita, the evidence of course getting more and more damning. That's right. Before it was just the CBI probe into that 800 crore investment into Sun TV and whether Dhanidhi Maran, telecom minister at that time, had anything to do with it. But now it's becoming murkier as we get to know more details of this statement that CBI star witness against Dhanidhi Maran, that C. Sivasankaran, that he recorded on Monday. Basically, what he's told the CBI is that uh, the telecom minister at that time, according to him, uh, did not just sit on his uh, applications for the 2G license. According to him, he also received threats. He said uh, both the brothers... Kalanidhi Maran and Dayanidhi Maran, who was the minister, uh, they also threatened him. Uh, what, when we asked the CBI what kind of threats, they said they were through various uh, types, but also through telephone calls. And they said, apparently, Sivasankaran has told the CBI that uh, uh, most of the threats were actually directed through Kalanidhi Maran. Now, the CBI is very clear. They are saying that these allegations have come quite a few later than when it took place. All this took place in 2005, 2006. Why is it that Seva Sankaran has chosen to speak up now? So that's one aspect they're going to be looking at. Second aspect that they're also going to be looking at is whether these actually, you know, just as allegation is not good enough, they'll also have to see whether they can corroborate that through various other real forensic evidence and other evidence. That's the thing. Now, NDTV has been trying to contact the Marans, both uh, Kalanidhi Maran, we spoke to people in Sun TV, which Kalanidhi had and we also spoke to Mr. Dayanidhi Maran's office. They refused to comment and they said that they had nothing to say. In fact, Dayanidhi Maran's office said that he would reply to the CBI. Till now, of course, the Marans have alleged that all the allegations against them are untrue. But it seems, Natasha, that they are getting more serious by the day. Right, uh, the evidence really mounting there. We've also heard the Prime Minister Sunetra in the last couple of days say that that uh, a, a case is being investigated, that the CBI should be allowed uh, to work, as he put it, without fear or favour. So the trouble really, there's no end to that uh, as far as Ayanadi Maran is concerned. How long can he hang on? Well, that's the thing. For the Congress, for the government, it's becoming increasingly embarrassing because of the kind of atmosphere that is now, uh, you know, you have so many anti-corruption protests going on. And in this, even though the CBI hasn't charged, cheated him yet, even though the CBI is yet to register a case, they're saying they need something more substantial than just a witness statement to register a proper case. But in the atmosphere of anti-corruption of so many farce of Baba Ramdev and Anna Hazare, uh, for the government, it is proving untenable they feel that perhaps even perception of corruption is wrong. So his names seem very numbered and NETV sources have already told us that uh, sources have, in the government have already told us that their Nidhi Maran is likely to go much before the next parliament session. But we'll just have to see how that happens. Right, so in the one last question before we let you go. This is, of course, going to be great fodder for the CBI. This is the kind of evidence that they have been uh, looking for. They've got it now. What next? Well, basically, what they're going to do is, now they've got all these allegations. One, uh, let me just recap, apart from these uh, allegations of them threatening, uh, of intimidating uh, C. Sivit Sankaran into selling his air cell to Maxis, a company which allegedly Dhanidhi Maran favoured as telecom minister in return for the 800 crore investment into his Sun TV. Now, apart from this allegation, they will also look at uh, the whole quid pro quo nexus and for that in the coming days very soon we are going to see Kalanidhi Maran and the Anidhi Maran both appearing before the CBI and what our sources tell us what they're not ruling out is the actual confrontation between Shiva Shankaran and the Marans to kind of sort out and find out the kind of discrepancies that may be in both their statements of course for a sitting minister uh, we've had very high profile people coming to the CBI in the 2G case but perhaps for the first time we'd see a sitting minister because remember Raja was uh, sacked much before the raids and questioning by the CBI but in this case we may see a sitting minister uh, come to the CBI for his questioning CBI is saying that's the next step NDTV's cricket app Android and iPhone faster scorecard special analysis and much more download free ndtv.com/apps